Okay, welcome back. I'm still on my way to the monastery, so keep climbing up this mountain right here. Or this hill, hilly mountain. Just follow the road. Hmm. Let me go take out that porcupine sleeping right there. Oh shit. I woke him up and he started attacking me like aggressive. I must have had a bad dream. Oh, there's a vulture bird thing here right here that doesn't see you. I walk right up to him and he doesn't even know. Trap in the corner. There's some recoil if you hit the wall. To save some potions. Let's see, let's try some of this fried chicken. Decent healing. It's nice that you can eat food to heal. So you can, like, you have other options. So you don't have to rely on potions specifically. So just keep going up here, see what this guy wants. Hey, wait. You came up the mountain, right? So, what business do you have out here? I don't recognize you. What's my business to you? Oh, nothing, nothing. But if Santiago spots you, you'll be in trouble. God, will you look at the size of that thing? What? Where? I don't see anything. Have you overdone the smokes? Who's Santiago? He's with the Inquisition. You don't want to mess with him. He'd have you recruited to the monastery quick as look at you. You can talk to this guy if you want to do some side quests. He's going to give a little side quest for you. What are you doing out here? Watching the road for creatures and probably providing a free meal for any hungry beasties that come wandering by. So you just keep talking to him, then he's gonna open, give you a new quest. What creatures? Well, all manner of things came out of the ground with those ruins. Think of your worst nightmare, then double it. That's them. I don't see any creatures. Oh, they're smart. Smart and vicious. I hear them shuffling around in the shadows, waiting. Why don't you just run for it? Once you've listened to those noises in the shadows, you'll be glad of a secure place to sleep. It's no fun in there, but it's no fun out here either. Even if I did make it back to Harbour Town, the Inquisition would just bring me right back here again. Not many places to hide on an island. I don't really have a lot of options. Alright, so if you want that little side quest, you can go ahead and keep talking now. There are creatures lurking in the vicinity of Brynn's guard posts. Get rid of the creatures around. So let's see, track that quest. Hmm. Oh, hero's crown. Yeah, you definitely need to find those. Every hero crown you find or you spot, definitely pick it up. It's part of an um, ingredient for a potion. Permanent stat no special. So you definitely need to pick that up. So for that Britain's quest. There's about these gnomes right here. Just kill these gnomes. They're the ones that's causing all the noise. Just gotta be careful though, because three of them can fight it, fight you at once.
Be careful of that little power attack. The jumping hammer attack. Huh. Let me see if I can get Brynn to help me out. Come on. Come on, gnomes, follow me. Come on, Brynn, help me out. Get your ass up and help Careful. me out. Careful! Sitting there about a Go on, go on! What the? <laughs> Look at him just standing there, watching. Keep going! Oh are you serious, Bryn? Uh, you can do it! Ah! Uh, uh, go on! Go on! Uh, I don't need uh, a freaking cheerleader, Bryn. Yeah. Uh, go on! Go on! <laughs> don't let up! Three of these guys. Gotta be careful. They do, they do a decent amount of damage. Yeah. Uh, uh, what the hell? Who the hell is shooting fire? Uh, 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 oh, someone killed one. Careful! Uh, Good job. I think it's the gatekeeper. He must have spotted us fighting. The stupid Brynn was just standing there. Stupid shouting stuff. I've dealt with your monsters. You have nothing to fear from the shadows anymore. Really? Those horrible things? You faced them? Yeah. They were... gnomes. Gnomes? Are you sure? They, they sounded a lot bigger. Well, there were a few of them. Listen, don't tell anyone about this. The boys will never let me hear the end of it. It'll be gnomeheads in my bed for weeks. Sure. I won't say a thing. Thanks. You're a pal. Look at him just sitting in this little bush. What the hell is that? <laughs> that is pretty funny right there. He should be sitting right here, but... I don't know, that's pretty funny. What's up wow, who do we have here? I don't recognize you. Looks to me like you're a vagrant. And vagrancy... That's illegal. If you can't give me a good reason why you're here, you will be recruited. Look at that dumbass. Trying to force you into the warriors of the order. I volunteered. I'm already enrolled at the monastery. Is that so? Well, we'll ask Master Pallas about that. I'll take you straight to him. Another recruit. The guards brought you here because you transgressed the law. Am I correct? You must be shitting yourself. Nope. I volunteered. I see. Then you must have something to show me. <laughs> I must have lost it. I have a letter from Commandant Carlos. Let me see. Belshaw. Hmm, I see. You rendered services in Harbour Town. Interesting. This changes things. We can make use of people like you. For what? That is your decision. The training we offer here would start you as a recruit, setting you on the path of a warrior. Or? Or, if your spiritual side is strong, you could become a novice, and later a mage. Whatever your choice, you must complete the same basic training. Okay, let's ask him about the mage. What can I expect as a mage? Magic is a demanding discipline. Diligence, patience, practice and sacrifice are all required. However, you would not carry out advanced combat training. There would be no time. But the rewards as a mage are great and would grant you access to all the spells the masters can teach you. I have decided, well, I have decided a long time ago, but I have decided. I have decided. 
I will take the path of magic. Then turn to the door on my left and go into the room next door. The novice tailor will give you your robe, and he will explain what happens next. No need to say that. If you want to, go ahead. Now who could teach me to pick locks? There's something here about magic. If you're in, um, especially if you're doing mage, look for, if you see book stands and go ahead and read them, give you wisdom. Even if you're not doing mage, you know, still benefits you. Since, you know, it's free anyway. Now who could teach me to pick hey. locks? Sorry for staring. I'm always interested in new faces. I'm Taylor. I'm guessing Master Palace sent you here? He said you'd have a robe for me. Wear it with pride. Your bond with magic is not one easily achieved. Changing, I think. Do you have some kind of map of this place? Oh, uh, yes. Every novice receives a map. Can't have them getting lost. Are you here out of your own free will? You could say that. I used to be with the Don, but never saw eye to eye with the man. After Harbour Town got taken over, I came up here. You enjoy sweeping the floors? Well, I wasn't going to follow the Don into the swamp. Safer, warmer, and more rewarding here. Do you want to see your chamber? Mm, yeah, not right now. Let's go talk to the other guy first. Show me the way to. Show me the way to my room. But before that, let's save it. Save, save, save. Okay, I'm gonna stop it right here. All right, welcome back. Now I'm inside the monastery. No current quests, I have to look for some quests. Just ask this guy sure. to my room. Show me the way. Follow me. Now who could teach me to pick locks? It's pretty dark in here. So, we've a new recruit in our midst. Where's your tunic, recruit? I don't have one. I'm training to become a mage. Each to their own. But you should know it takes more than some fancy finger waving to get by here. Go and get yourself a staff and get back here sharpish. Where do I get a staff? Look around the monastery, lad. Use those eyes of yours. Who are you? I'm Master Eric. I know what you're thinking. I seem like a nice guy, a decent chap. The reason I can be, because I know a thousand and one ways to push someone's liver out of their nostrils. Not wise to try that with a mage. For mages, I know a thousand and two ways. <laughs> Why do I need a staff? Why do I need a staff? Because everyone learns how to fight here. The staff is a noble weapon. In the right hand's as deadly as any blade, although it pays to have a good blade handy too. And I think it's wise to see just how much training you're going to need. No sense in your dying too, Grim. Where's your stuff? Your observant, I like that. I've done my training, now it's up to you to do yours. Besides, if I need to, I could take a staff off any of these lot without breaking a sweat. 
I'll be right back, Eric. Don't forget the master part. <laughs> Believe me, you don't, don't want to know what it took to earn that title. Whatever you say. Ah, you'll soon learn the ropes. And if you don't, I'll soon knock you into shape. What a bastard. So I had to... This is the training area, where Master Arik whips new recruits into shape. Once you finish basic instruction, Master Vitus will conduct your training further. If you treat him right, Master Arik's a decent sort. Let's move before someone sticks a broom in your hand. Oh, and you're sharing your room with Hemlock. He's rather grumpy, but shouldn't cause you any work. Hendler, that's a new name. <coughs> Never played as a mage before in this game, so it's a new name for me. That was a new conversation. Never heard of too. Walking very slow. Must be right here. You are the newcomer. I'm new here. This recruit has been murdered. What do you know of this? <laughs> Let's see, this one will be pretty funny. I heard you're short of new recruits. You have even fewer if this is how you get if this is how you treat them. That one's pretty funny right there. Probably a Don. Hmm. I see that. But then I've just arrived here. Nothing else in Timurs. Or I'm not gonna waste too much time just thinking. Let's see. Nothing. I was sent to this room. I heard you're short of new recruits. You'll have even fewer if this is how you greet them. I am not accusing you. Your recent arrival means you have two qualities I need. You could not have committed this crime. And you need to prove yourself here. You can start by discovering who is responsible for this. I don't know what happened here. I don't even know any of the people here. Then you shall be objective. Examine cold facts, for instance. This man was stabbed in the back, and there is no sign of magic, which is why there is no reason for me to give personal attention to this case. Why do you want me to investigate this? You think you're not up to the task? How do you know I am? Your manner and appearance. You aren't from this island, which makes your presence illegal. It also means you are a survivor. I am surrounded by books and bookworms. I need survivors. If you want me to investigate, where should I start? Master Vitus will aid you. I have more important things to consider. You have your task. <laughs> Alright, so I got a new side quest. I'm supposed to investigate a murder. This is your room. Right, I better get back to my duties. Alright. Gotta play a detective now. Let me get some stuff first. Investigate the room, so. See what's around here. Is that my new roommate? <laughs> yeah, Hemlar. That was supposed to be my roommate. And he got killed. That's a shame. Alright. Kitchen knife. Yeah, so I gotta pay a visit to the kitchen. Small packet of weed. Hemlock's purse. I don't know what I don't know if I was supposed to open it or not, but yeah. I 
they don't mind if I borrow some of these things here. <laughs> what are you doing here? Must be his room. Hey, you, huh? I'm Casper. If you need something around here, I'm your man. For a price, of course. Ask some. Try someplace else. Damn. Careful what you touch. I need the sneaking skill in order to do that. Not really much in here. Got a broom. So I guess let's go pay a visit to the kitchen before I start my training. Let's finish this other quest first. Investigate the murder. Kitchen should be over here somewhere. Check out the map. Quest map. Right here. Hold on. It says I have to talk to this guy. Well, novice? Hemla has been murdered. Yes, news spreads quickly here. Soon the whole monastery will know about it. But of course, everyone claims to have neither seen nor heard a thing. And that makes my search for the killer all the harder. You have been appointed investigator. I wish you success. About Hemlar. When, when did the, the murder, murder happen? happen? It appears Hemlar was killed at the time you arrived. Since then, no one has left the monastery. Therefore, we must assume that the killer is still here. There are those who pointed their finger at you. You'll need to be certain before you point your finger at anyone else. Why was Hemlar murdered? That is a good question. Once you know the answer to why he was killed, you should find it much easier to discover who killed him. Any suggestions where I should start? Perhaps where Hemler was found. The novice Casper is responsible for the chambers. He also trades with many of the recruits. And he must see a lot of what happens here. Talk to him. Tell him I have assigned him to help you. All right. The hell that guy looks like Teller. Teller's triplet. What do you want here? <laughs> Let me go to the kitchen first now. Don't touch anything. Who are you? What are you doing here? I'm you. I'm in the order like you. Just met you, and you're my friend, eh? You knew. You get stew. Those are the orders. Here's the stew. Hey, uh, found any gold? I lost some around here. Ha! Do you really think that it'd still be here? Have you got any idea of the sort of people who pass by here? Yep. Looks like it's gone for good. Show him the knife. Do you recognize this blade? Never seen it before in my life. Take a closer look at it. It's not mine. I've never seen it. Now sod off. Okay, they didn't help. I'm not listening. Okay. Damn. She's looking at me. Got some stew. See what it gives. Hit points plus 15. So let's go talk to that. That one person. Casper, I think his name was. Which way was it? <gasps> I 
Did he see me? Now who could teach me to pick locks? Gotta be really careful. I think I took stuff from here, right? Here. Yeah. I'm not gonna waste time taking every little thing. Let's go talk to Casper. I'm on an assignment from the Inquisitor. Really? What's the old man got you doing? I'm supposed to find Hemlar's killer. Haha! <laughs> Rather you than me. Both of us, actually. Master Vita said you're to help me. What? You're joking, ain't you? Afraid not. Oh, that's all I need. Okay, let's get this thing wrapped up quickly. I don't want to get on the Inquisitor's bad side. Do you trade with recruits? I do business with anyone who's got gold. I ain't fussy. But no weed and no weapons, because I ain't stupid either. Anything else I can get you. Show me what you've got. Let's sell him some of my weapons I'll need. So any duplicates that you have that you don't really need. Or even a shirt and just keep it. You have enough gold. Because you never know when you're going to need it. What do you know about Hemna? Ex-con, shifty type, scuttled around. Quiet too. You never knew what he was thinking. Shifty and quiet isn't going to get us far. What about clues? Have you searched his room? I searched the room and Hemla's body. Did you find anything? I found a knife. I found a knife in Hemla's room. Not many blades in this place. There's dry blood on it too. Hey, have you just given me the thing that killed him? <laughs> I think it is the murder weapon. But why leave it there? Have you seen this knife before? Looks like one of Harlock's kitchen knives. Could be that the blood just came from the kitchens. Or am I being naive? I found a small amount of gold. Hemlar always came across as having a fair amount of gold. Maybe he spent it. Or someone took it. And left the rest to cover his tracks. Maybe. You might as well keep what you found. Should be some reward for your work, eh? I found some food. Was Hemlar poisoned? No. So I doubt that's of any importance. You might as well keep it. I found some Bruegel weed. Not a surprise. He was dealing the stuff. And you didn't think that was something to tell me straight away? Do you know where he got his supply? He certainly didn't grow it himself. He'd never get away with that in here. He must have got it from outside. I don't know how. Hemlar wasn't allowed to leave the monastery. So, he must have had a supplier on the outside. Or who had permission to leave the monastery. Any idea who was supplying him like? Well, don't look at me. I partake, but that's it. A lot of people smoke. Not much else to do here. The powers that be must know. Turn a blind eye. But whoever was supplying him like, must have been someone who could leave the monastery. Who does that leave us with? 
You need to talk to Master Pallas. He's in charge of the gates. Alright, I got a bunch of new questions. Look at this. Let's go back and talk to that kitchen guy.